let's use the lab activities to make a super sort activity. So this is an activity like this where you'd have little aliens that would be sorted, dragged and dropped and sorted into two different categories. Okay, so things like odds and evens, nouns and verbs, mammal, mammals or reptiles, anything that you'd like to be sorted. So let's try one of these. We'll click on our magic hat, comes up with our lab um, wizard. The very first one is the super sort, so you can preview any of these activities, but we're going to click add this activity, and it works us through the wizard. You have sort in space, simple sorting, sort the treasure. When you click on these, it gives you options on the right, just jungling. The jungle one has two different options. Sort in space has two different options. Let's try the just jungling. Okay, and let's do the, I don't know, let's do the island one. And next. So next we need to label our two categories. So let's do the nouns, and our other category will be verbs. Okay, you could use French, English, you could do anything you want. You can add from a list. So if you had a list that you had saved previously, you could add it there. I'm just going to add some nouns. So cat, dog, just write, type them in, press enter. Cat, dog, tree. There's my nouns. My verbs, I'm just going to enter. Jump, run, and walk. There's my verbs, okay? And then I hit, if I want to at this point, I can click save my list. I can give it a name and I can save it, okay? I'm not going to bother doing that right now because it's fairly quick to type them in. I'm gonna click next. And you can enter a game component. So let's try the spinning wheel this time. So if I click add, you can, um, would you like to randomize? Tell me more. Would you like to randomize the categories, the sorting items, the numbers, or student list? So I'm going to, you could do the sorting items so that if they come up differently, I'm going to work on a student list. Uh, let's add from a list that I previously have, or again, I could just type in the names, but I'm going to add from a previous list, any list that I have saved. So I have been working with this class. There's a few kids in it and they pop up instantly and I click finish. And now the wizard will work to make my little activity. I've got my nouns and my verbs. Click on my spinner and it'll spin and come up randomly with names. So Sheila is up first. Click here, Sheila would come up. If she thinks that cat is a verb, she'll drag it up there. If it's not a verb, it will bounce back. If then she could then try a noun. There we go, and it zooms in. So that is how you work on the um, lesson activity builder activity that is called super sort. Um, we are going to take one second and just show you how you would then um, revise it if you needed to make edits. Edits are done with this little pen, so you click on the pen and it'll take you back into your wizard so you can adjust things. So you could just go next, all of your stuff is there, but you could edit it if you need spelling errors or wanted to add new ones, and then you would hit save and close. You can also reset it by clicking this button and all of your items come back here. And that is how you do the super sort.